Even three platoon on the other side of the bay was being mortared and was beginning to suffer casualties. B Company had started its attack on Bocker House at the same time as A Company had begun to move on Darwin. They too were having no easy time of it and their casualties were starting to mount. The Argentine trenches and bunkers had been well prepared and would be difficult to overcome. Several attempts were made to do so, but the Argentine fire was too intense, and eventually the men of B Company had to withdraw to cover. Throughout, Tupara was under constant shell and mortar fire, and this, together with the liberal use of white phosphorus grenades, had set light to much of the gorse on the battlefield. 